I am sitting on the floor because I was too tired to lug my bench three feet over to sit on it in front of my bookshelf. Hey everyone, welcome back to Rima Reads. So today I'm going to be doing the booktube newbie tag. Apparently when you're a new booktuber, you're supposed to do the booktube newbie tag and I am definitely a newbie. This tag was created by Brenda C. So I will link her below. I haven't been tagged in this tag, but I'm gonna do it anyways. I'm assuming I'll probably never get tagged in anything. And so I'm gonna just do whatever tags I want to do. So the first question is, why did you start this channel? Um, so I've been reading books forever. Um, I love to read so, so, so much. And since quarantine started, I pretty much read and watch other booktubers uh, talk about their favorite books. And I was like, this would be something really fun and enjoyable for me to do. I also like personally, I've been reviewing books for a long time on Goodreads, but I haven't been the greatest at like explaining eloquently thoughts and feelings on books and so for me personally I'm hoping this booktube channel will help me grow as a person who's able to explain more in depth about you know my feelings and thoughts on certain books help me grow in that regard but also I just I really love reading and it's something I do a lot of and so I thought this would just be a fun thing to do. What are some fun and unique things you can bring to booktube? So I'll be the only booktuber ever who can't pronounce for shit so that's always fun. Fun and unique things. Am I fun and unique? Hard to say. I don't know if I have fun and unique things to bring so next question. What are you most excited about for this new channel? I am very excited for getting involved in the booktube community. Uh, seems like a very great community full of people who are super passionate about reading and I'm super passionate about reading. Um, so that's what I'm most excited about. Why do you love reading? Like I mentioned, I've been reading forever and I literally don't know who I would be as a person without reading i believe reading teaches you a lot in terms of empathy and connecting to others it shows you worlds in different ways that you would not expect and so reading means a lot to me in that sense and also like it's fun it's like something i really enjoy doing to me reading's not a chore it's something i really enjoy doing it's a new form of learning which i don't now that I'm outside of school, it's a great way to just like connect to something and actively um, focus on something. So I love it in that sense. And then I just love stories. I love hearing what stories that people like to tell. I love listening to what people pull out in each story and finding your own meaning in stories. And so I just I love reading. What book or series got you into reading? So this one's a hard one because I've been reading forever and I literally can't pinpoint an exact book or series that got me into reading. Harry Potter obviously is a huge, huge, huge influence on my life. Even before Harry Potter, I had been reading. I don't know what book or series got me into reading, but Harry Potter was definitely a big influence. What questions would you ask your favorite booktubers? You guys want to be friends with me? Let's be friends. What challenges do you think starting a booktube channel will be the hardest to overcome? Well, I think there'll be a couple of challenges. Uh, one, nobody watching my videos because they suck might be a challenge. Uh, I go in slumps of where I don't read for a while and then I pick back up and so I'm trying to be more consistent on this and now that I have a YouTube channel I want to you know put out regular content so if I get into one of my reading slumps I think that will be something I will need to work on so I can 
put some videos out. When did you start reading? I already said this like three times. <laughs> um, so I started reading since forever ago. Yeah. I would, in school, we'd have like reading logs and you'd have to do read like three books a semester, trimester? Three books a trimester, so one book a month. Um, you get like your parents to sign off on it and I would fill out like four pages and at some point I would just start putting my parents signature because they got tired of signing all 50 books off for me so yeah we book readers are hardcore forging signatures the real real rebel stuff I did as a child where do you read I mostly read on my bed honestly I could spend all day in my bed so like if I'm reading the bed's the place to be it's super comfortable if it's nice outside I'll read outside on the patio what kind of books do you like to read I like to read fantasy and sci-fi the most that's like my number one um, both young adult and adult uh, I just I love me some good fantasy and sci-fi young adult in general I don't read too much contemporary young adult I like to have a little bit of like magic up in there but if it's really really good I might give it a try um, I like to read a lot of manga as well and like fun graphic novels are always cool I do like to read like the nonfiction books I like to read tend to be more like social justice education oriented um, to just like learn about the world we're living in and how to make it better but yeah that was my booktube newbie tag hope you all enjoyed let me know in the comments below if you responded the same to any of my questions or differently and want to talk about it i'd love to hear your thoughts yeah thank you all bye